Summer Camp Nightmare is the worst movie ever made. And I don't even know if that's an opinion. This movie is so incredibly bad, it actually left me angry after watching this movie. Summer Camp Nightmare is an 80s horror movie that takes place in a summer camp. Yeah, never heard of that before. And <sighs> what's it about? I don't know. I actually don't know because it's so sparse in plot. I love how they ripped off Sleepaway Camp right here, you know, an actually good movie. With all jokes aside, Summer Camp Nightmare is about kids that take over a camp because they don't get what they want. That's it. That's, that's, that's the whole movie. And I'm gonna break down this movie so none of you ever have to watch this movie. Oh, jeez, Crow Productions. They seem familiar. Oh. Summer Camp Nightmare. Wow, that's the best title they have for this movie. Okay, jeez, like, the guy's just, like, spazzing out with the camera, shaking it all over the place. Well, they sing the most annoying bus song in the world. I already hate this movie so much. Here's the most cliche 80s nerd, like, in existence. I mean, like, jeez. You'll never believe who's in this movie. Chuck Connors, showing that there's no paycheck too small for him. I mean, isn't he a little embarrassed after tourist drop? Eh, whatever. There's cocaine in that bag, definitely. Oh yeah, and there's the cliche boy who looks at porn magazines. Ugh, because, get it, because he's a boy? You know? And there's that idiot from Friday the 13th. Oh great, then there's this stupid dangerous bridge you know is gonna come back in the final act. Anyway, they're trying to cross this to get to the girl's cabin. Jeez, how long did it take you to think of that? Oh boy, and then he like fails at it and almost dies on these stupid rocks. Because this movie's so stupid. You know, I would talk about the plot to this movie, but there seriously isn't one. It's just about a bunch of stupid guys trying to get to the girls' cabin basically the whole movie. But don't worry, you'll see the not interesting parts that are supposed to be interesting later. So apparently this little kid peed his pants and Chuck Connors liked it. Yeah. This, this couldn't be any more stupid. I'm not even making this up. Also, not that anyone cares, but there was like this scene about butterflies or something stupid. He collects butterflies or something. I mean, it's not really important at all, so. Oh, silly me. I forgot. This movie was renamed The Butterfly Revolution because stinking summer camp nightmare wasn't already stupid enough. So they had to think of something even stupider than summer camp nightmare and honestly i think they succeeded with this one so the boys hook up a style light to do what anyone take a guess what do you think the boys are gonna do yeah they're hooking up a satellite to watch porn of course you know i'm really starting to think that these guys are the high school football team that they watch so much porn anyway chuck connors hears them well, of course they get in trouble then, and then the worst part is they actually complain, like, why did we get in trouble? Um, I don't know, we're watching pornography at a summer camp? How stupid are you? Well, no, no, actually, how stupid is the person making this movie to write that in? Anyway, brace yourself for a horrible comeback coming up. Come on, Mr. War, we're just a bunch of horny guys. Oh no. No, you're just a bunch of obnoxious little boys. You wish we were little boys. Oh, snap, you got him there with that middle school level roast. Finally, the guys meet the girls because you were dying to know that. And they look like 80s kids and they're all dumb. And yeah, great. Oh, come on, you can do better than the blonde. They make a really sexist statement that apparently all girls are dumb and distracted. So someone please cancel this movie so I don't have to look at it anymore. Here it is. The worst scene in the worst movie ever made. They're singing about their genitalias, calling them beef balonas. Ha ha, isn't that so funny? Why is everyone so stupid in this movie? Also, this scene apparently made cinematic history according to some sources. So you know what? You guys have horrible taste. Then they get in trouble and ask why. 
and then they get all mad. They seriously ask why this song got them in trouble. I, why is everyone such an idiot in this movie? They decide to take over the summer camp because the counselors were doing their job. You know, maybe if you want to do whatever you want in the woods, do that at home. Don't pay like $300 to go to a summer camp just to complain about it. So this is probably the stupidest plan ever, taking over a summer camp. Some really stupid scenes not worth mentioning, but anyway, it ends up with them arguing and then all of a sudden he gets into a fight with him for some reason because they called him a pedophile or something, I don't know. It's just really dumb. So this grown man is then overthrown by children and locked in a cabin. Wow. What am I watching? They can do whatever they want. So they dance. Wow. I mean, like, you could do whatever you want. And you just have the stupid party and dance. I would never hang out with these kids. So then there's another stupid fight scene that is just horribly acted. That literally ends up with this afro dude stabbing him. And killing him. Just just watch this. He literally stabs him and murders him. And he really didn't even do anything wrong but laugh at a kid for peeing his pants or something. If you thought that was stupid, then there's this even stupider scene when Ricky Caldwell has tries to have sex with this blonde girl. That's that's it. I mean look at that guy. And have this court hearing or whatever and punish him which makes no sense because the camp has no rules you know let's just ignore it we find the origins of logan paul's suicide force video when we find this guy who committed crimes dead body just hanging because the kids murdered him then the nerd gets attacked because he tried to call the police yeah like that would be any help there's probably a kid skateboarding somewhere that they're more interested in Anyway, they end up, like, holding him hostage or something because he tried to get help because someone's dead, but whatever. Here's a scene that was filmed at the director's house. There's his diplomas. I don't know how he got into film school making stuff like this. Whatever, so they, like, can tie him so they can, like, call the police because, jeez, that's, that's a horrible idea. Remember when I said that stupid Ridge would come back to play at the end? Yeah, it does. They want him to, like, die off of it or something. Believe it or not, there's another fight scene, since this movie didn't have enough of those. And by the end, it kind of turns into a sex scene. And the police come and do what they do best. Yell at children for being children. Then both of these simps thinks it's a good idea to hug blonde girls after all of this. Jeez. Then the movie ends with all the good boys getting on the school bus and the bad boys going into the police car. Ugh. I have some life advice for everyone watching this video right now. Don't ever watch this movie. Watch good movies. And bad movies can be good, but I can't believe that I found a movie that there isn't even anything, there's not even like one part of this movie that was enjoyable. It was all awful, and I would recommend to th this to no one, not even as a joke.